Hi, Charlie here from Lube You Do. We've had a little mishap with our 2007 Toyota Prius, and we have to change the taillight on the driver's side. We've got our new taillight assembly here. Let me show you just how easy it is to put it in. I had uh, broken this taillight here sometime before via a hockey stick, and then recently backed into a, uh, a dumpster and uh, broke out this part of the light. So we're gonna replace uh, this whole fixture. With the uh, trunk open, if you come around here inside the trunk, you'll find this uh, door here that you can simply just lift up on the bottom and pull that out. And that's how you get to the uh, light sockets and the, and the um, light bulbs. Uh, but it's also where we're gonna remove that fixture. Now, looking at the, uh, the new light, this is the, of course, the outside and this is what's on the inside. You can see that there are really just two fasteners. There's a bolt here just to the top left of the top light, and then there's a bolt uh, here. Uh, these two pins just go into some guide holes to keep that side in alignment. So we really just had to figure out how to get to this fastener and that fastener. And they're going to be uh, just inside, probably up in high here, and something else that's down low. So we'll work on removing this panel. This uh, cargo latch thing here requires a 10 millimeter socket. All right, so it looks like we're going to have to go further. So I'm going to take out the carpet and uh, the floor area down here that covers the spare tire and see if we can't get better access to back in there. See, I've got the um, bottom pan removed. Uh, this little corner uh, black plastic piece that was here, it had one little nylon plastic nut on the top of it uh, that you could get to from inside the bin. Got those out of the way. And then there's some trim across the back here. Uh, that you can just pop out of place. And, uh, and then there's this trim on the side here that has a couple of fasteners like that one there and one up here that just pop out of there. And with that, you can pretty much get to what you need to get to uh, to, get the, to get the light out. Uh, you'll get, that'll get you access to those uh, two bolts. Um, there's a wire harness that runs right along those bolts. If I could find a way to hold this camera right here. This little wire harness was slipped over that bolt. You'll want to slide that off and then the nut is right here behind it. That's the lower one. The upper one's just like it up above. Same 10 millimeter socket uh, worked for the bolts that were holding the light in place. You probably want a good deep one like this because um, those, the, the bolts are pretty long and the nuts are set way back in there. Uh, so now that I have those out of the way, the light fixture, I believe, is ready to, uh, to come out here. Of course, I have the electrical connections inside that I'll need to undo, uh, but I might be able to get to those from the outside here as well. Again, there were those two clips on the other side that just seemed to fit right into holes. So I don't think there's any fasteners there. Okay, so I have uh, undubbed the light bulbs inside and it just took a little bit of a tug to get these uh, ears. Let's see if I can show you a good close up of one. Um, this little thing here goes into those little holes there and it sort of just catches, it's not a, a real firm connection, but uh, subtle. And so, looks like if I can clear these wires of this adhesive, I will be ready to pull this out completely. I was uh, removing more than I needed to. This is the old light and the wiring harness. Uh, the new light is down here and it actually comes with that wiring harness in place uh, with the receptacle right here in the middle. So really all I have to do is uh, disconnect this connector here and then this will plug right into my new light fixture. I suspect I'll need to install these bulbs in the new fixture. I doubt that it came with those, so. All right, well this connector is a little bit tricky, uh, but the, the trick to it is to push down on this piece here, which will raise up on the other end of that and release it from uh, the little barb that's on the top of this thing here. Okay, well, the new light did in fact uh, have bulbs in place, 
And so um, I plugged in the electrical connector. It uh, very easily went into those two studs. Of course, this side is still loose because I haven't put the nuts on it yet. Uh, so we will move around back inside and start reassembling. I'm just going to put these nuts on, of course, by hand here to begin with. You can feel that foam rubber on the back of the light start to give as you, uh, oh, it goes on very easily, as it starts to snug into place. Yeah, it's giving me resistance. Okay, so I think that's probably good. Um, I'm gonna slide these plastic wire retainers back over the ends of those bolts because that's the way they were to begin with. And um, should be ready to just snap this back into place. Down here, you want this carpeted piece to go underneath this uh, threshold for the back gate. Okay, like that. Pocket it back into place. Now the tray. This little door goes back there. This big cover drops in here. This just sort of spring clips back up into there. But this one the wrench first so I don't block the view too much. The hinge side of it goes towards the bottom. Okay, well we hope you found that helpful. We don't carry those uh, taillights, but remember at lubeyoudo.com you can order just about any maintenance product you need for your car and each of our oil and filter kits come with free installation accessories including a, a line box you can drain your oil into, our patented oil diverter, a window clean to note your mileage, and we also have air filters and cabin filters. So come see us at lubeyoudo.com. Thanks, have a great day.